Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today we're going to talk about our first-round pick, Kyle Hamilton. Um, a lot of people were screaming bust when he first came on the scene, didn't have a great game versus Miami, uh, was exploited big time. Uh, but I've seen study improvements in his game, and to me, this has probably been his best game coverage-wise. Coverage so I really want to get into what he did versus, uh, for the most part, number 88 for the books. I don't know who 88 is, but... This film is pretty much them locked up against each other. I want you to see how well he's been able to stick and stay um, with his with the offensive player. So this video is about Kyle Hamilton. And um, if this is your first time here, make sure you hit the like button if you like the content. Subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when I drop these random videos. But let's get right into it. Uh, Kyle will be highlighted on, on the play so you'll kind of get an idea of where he is. And he's going to match up with number 88 on every play. But again, early in the year... He couldn't play man, couldn't play zone anyway. But right now, he because of his size, he can take the blow. ADH is going to kind of try to muscle him off. He took that and still be right in his hip pocket. Still right in his hip pocket. And the good thing about this is, as well as he played this, you can play a lot of tight ends a certain way. Like, uh, like say this to Pepe. Pepe could play this the same exact way. But then you have quarterbacks that try to high point the tight end. Because normally tight ends are 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", 6'7". Well, Hamilton's 6'4". With about a 6'8", 6'9", maybe 7-foot wingspan. So now you can't just you know cheat the game right like that and get a tight end covered and just highball it. At least not with Hamilton. Let's go to the next one. You see him right there about the blitz. About the blitz. He's trying to disguise it. Shoots the gap. A vo a pretty much avoids the block of Fournette, keeps his balance, and gets he don't get the Houston gets the sack, but he gets in on it. And this is a this is a DB getting through the line of scrimmage, a block avoiding, and then getting after the QB. Early in the year, he had a move where he was at the line and got a sack on a on a guard. It's crazy how Kyle Hamilton got moves. Somebody don't. But I digress. Next play. Helmets down there, you know, uh, highlighted. Still playing man to man versus 88. Somebody in the uh, comment section, put, who was 88 for Tampa Bay? Look at that. He's trying to muscle him and get him out of the way. Look at his hands on him. Good foot. He's not clapping his feet. Guy broke. Still right there where he need to be. Still where he needs to be. We, we're working down here now. Not, not looking at Marlowe. I mean, not looking at um MP. Even though he should have caught that ball. But again, Ham Hamilton wasn't sticking his thing like this early in the year. Now, I don't know if this is a like a uh, a second, mid-level tight end. But again, Hamilton's a rookie and he started off the year like trash. So he's gotten tremendously better in this area of his game. Yeah, look, he just can't get away from him. He right in his hip pocket, right in face. He got a little help uh, across the middle with, um, I want to say that's Chuck peeking, like right here. So he's a, you know, you could, a good court. Tom Brady could fit that ball in here, but he's scared away by Chuck, which gives Hamilton enough just to, to get back in phase. See, to get right back in phase. And just stick and stay with your guy. Again, was not doing this early in the year. This is, I ain't going to say high-level man-to-man coverage on for, your, for your safety versus tight end, but it's pretty good versus them, them none top two-tier uh, tight ends. And I'm talking about the Waddle, the Andrews, the Kelsey, the the Hawkinson. The, you know, it's, a, it's two good tiers of tight ends, and the rest is probably where 88 is. Again, passing situation. But it looks like a passing situation with a flexed out um, tight end. Yeah, never out of phase. Never out of phase. And even when the scrambling part comes, this is what I really like about it. Never peeks back. If you look at his head, he never looks back. He playing his man. You know why? Because looking back is what got him beat earlier in the year. Look! Look at this. He's a little bit 
beating right there because goal line, but he never peaks. He never peaks back at that quarterback. Learning. Kids learning. Then we got two more plays. This is probably one of his better plays right here for me. This is probably one of his better plays of the season. Sit on that out route. Do not be muscled. And make a play on the ball. And made a play on the ball. That's damn good defense right there. It's pretty darn good defense. Let's slow it down. Good with his feet. Great on the cut. Play, played the, the two hands beautifully. The back hand on the back, but not grabbing. And then swiping with the front hand. That's pretty darn good coverage. That's, I during this say that's textbook. We're going to see the back end of that same play right here. That's during the textbook. That's teach, that's teach tape material right there. If you don't know what teach tape is, that means that's the video you show your players when you're trying to teach them a different drill or a play or something like that. Like you show them the right way to do it. Got him in the line, head up on 88 again. And even though, you know, ball don't come to him, look, look at he's locked up. There's zero separation. Zero. Zero. That's zero separation. Is that it? I got this is probably the last one right here. Again, it looks like the same situation. Well, the same formation, rather. Tries to get him with the same little route. No separation. None. And even though they do score on this, I think this might be the last play of the game for them. They score on this because of someone else, but Hamilton hit pocket. Hip pocket. Not not letting the muscle him up. And right in his hip pocket. To me, that's a tremendous jump based off what he was when the season first started. Uh, and really, I can explain it. How can I explain it? There were a couple games and one play in particular versus the Dolphins where they ran um, a dig post combo. And it was cover three. And he jumped that that uh, dig coming across the middle of the field and the post that basically split the corners. And he ain't played well since then up for these last couple of weeks. But seeing this from him, uh, I think his confidence is growing. Uh, definitely his technique's definitely getting better. And maybe we, we got to play it for real. Maybe maybe not what we expected to start with, but maybe be a lot better finished product. So until next time, this is Coach Evans with Simply Tyler Films. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. I appreciate you guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you soon. Peace.